What do I need to start praying? Do I need a particular place? Well, you could go to church, or pray at home, or in the car, or even in bed. When you're travelling, and when you're away from home, or even if you're just exercising in your local area. In fact, you can pray anywhere you like, because wherever you are, God is there too. You might want to set aside a place for prayer. You might use a prayer desk. Some people might use an icon, or a cross, or crosses, or rosary beads. A Bible is useful, and a prayer book with prayers to follow. Some people use the lectionary to get daily readings. Candles are always nice, and some books of devotional prayers and readings. But a comfortable chair, a Bible, and perhaps a mug of tea can be just as effective. Some people set aside specific times to pray, and it might help you to book your prayer time in. Just 10 minutes, see how you go. Outside of lockdown, many churches offer prayer during the week, or home groups, or even the internet. Don't worry about praying for the right things. Usually your concern, compassion, and love for the world will guide you in what to pray about. You might find a list helps you. Add things as they occur to you. God is speaking to you. If it all begins to seem too much, remember you're only one person, and God is unlikely to have called you to do everything. Scripture is useful. Jesus taught us how to pray. You could say this prayer on its own, or use it to end a time of prayer. Another way could be to read a psalm or passage from the Bible, and see what words or images stand out for you. How might you pray about those? To sum up, identify 10 minutes where you won't be disturbed in your day. Mark Bible passages and prayers if you're using them before you start. And start praying. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you today and always. Amen.